Hey guys, and welcome back to another Pro Wrestling Breakdown. And um, this may end up on a couple channels, so if you're watching this on the Breakdown channel, um, thank you. I just realized that there was actually um, subscribers over there, um, so this is probably going to go up on both channels. Um, so, yeah, didn't know there was actually subscribers on the other one. Uh, that content's kind of old, but I'm going to start putting new content up on, on the channel. So this is one of the first videos that's going to go up. This is kind of a preview predictions uh, for Elimination Chamber, plus my thoughts on what has happened um, up to this point in the past few weeks since I haven't reviewed. So I don't, I don't think I've uploaded a video for a couple weeks, a couple weeks and a half maybe, um, and even that was kind of delayed when I finally got to put it up. So today we're going to talk about what actually happened in WWE. I'm going to talk about some other news as well in wrestling, uh, Ring of Honor, um, uh, TNA, and uh, I think that's about all I can really talk about. I haven't really followed anything else besides that. Um, so, WWE, um, not much really going on the past couple weeks, been kind of blah, a couple weeks ago, Raw was horrible, it started off the show with a bunch of wrestlers on top of ladders, just chatting up a storm, and then they announced the matches, and then I watched, uh, Rusev versus, who did they, who did they face, Zack Ryder, thought that was one of the best matches they could have had, not really, not really, no, it was not the best match. Um, I shut it off after that point two weeks ago because the matches they announced we've already seen like two, three times in the past couple months. Um, I turned it off. It wasn't that great. That Raw was horrible. It was horrible, and I knew from the get-go. Um, and everybody said it was a sleeper show. Um, this week I watched it, and it was better. I think it was a lot better than last week. Um, there was moments where I almost wanted to go grab a pillow, but it – was better than before. It's been. It was actually a pretty decent episode this week, <clears throat> and I actually sat there and watched. Um, <clears throat> the couple annoying things that what happened though was uh, the Shining Stars are somehow they got revoked. I guess they're in ring action or something. I don't know what's going on with that. They're still talking in front of in front of a green screen. Um, I don't know what's if they're <laughs> I don't know why they're not wrestling. Um, maybe the one got injured and they just don't want to tell nobody. Um, no idea. No idea. Primo and Epico is stuck in some kind of land that we don't know. Um, I don't really understand what what else is going on. Oh, Darren Young, stupid thing. He's stuck with Bob Backlund. I don't know when he's going to start wrestling again. Uh, make Darren Young great again with Bob Backlund. Kind of stupid segment. Like it was funny the first couple times. Now it's just getting dumb. They need to have him wrestle or just sign his release papers and let him go on his way because I, I don't think they're going to do anything with him. I, I don't think they're going to push him to any degree at all. Um, but that's about it. AJ, AJ Styles and John Cena uh, signed the contract this week. That was pretty cool. It's kind of dumb. Is the club going to be backing you up? That's basically what John kept saying. And he says, I bet you can't beat me on my own. And AJ Styles said, yes, I can. And basically signed the contract. He had two contracts sitting on the table saying um, one that says that you're going to bring the club with you, one that says you're not going to bring the club with you. And he signed the one that says he wasn't going to bring the club with him. He's a heel. He can do whatever he wants. What was the point in that? Um, it was kind of stupid. So the club will probably be with him. I wouldn't doubt if Finn Balor debuts and um, helps him in his feud. Um, a lot, I, I, they keep on. There's a bunch of rumors speculating that Randy Orton is going to show up and help him uh, in this match. At um, Money in the Bank, so who knows? Um, but besides that, <clears throat> that's barely all happened on Raw. There wasn't really the women's division just horrible right now. Horrible. Uh, Natalia is supposedly, I think, still in a feud with Charlotte, which is stupid. Um, I'm thinking they're holding back for Sasha Banks. That's what a lot of people are thinking, I believe. Um, but it, they could be having they could be having a feud with Paige or Becky or anybody but Natalia. A blind dog on the streets of Chicago and anything but <laughs> Natalia. <yeah>. Um, <laughs> but anything. Um, that would be better than Natalia. But instead we get a tag team match at Elimination Chamber. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna pr predict who's gonna win this match. Because it doesn't matter who's gonna win this match at Money in the Bank. It does not matter because why should we care about this match? There's I don't I don't I don't understand. So I don't I'm not even gonna give that prediction. Whatever. Who cares? Um, AJ Styles and John Cena. AJ Styles has to win this. If AJ Styles doesn't win this, then they might as well stop the feud right here. So I think somebody's going to come in and interfere 
If it's not Balor, then Balor might save John Cena. That might be interesting. Um, but I do think Finn Balor will debut at Money in the Bank. It should be a big deal. Um, I think he should. Um, what, what I wish would have happened, and I thought maybe could have happened, was that NXT could have held their own Money in the Bank kind of qualifying match and gave one of them a shot to come right up to the main roster and get a shot in Money in the Bank. I think that would have been interesting. It would have been cool, but they didn't do that. Or at least we don't know if they did that. Um, so, um, but they have they have one more week to do something. Uh, tonight is the, well, yeah, tonight, the day of recording this, it is Wednesday, and NXT is tonight. So, um, we will we, we'll find out if they do, do something like that. It'll be the last chance they get. But I believe it's already pre-taped and stuff, so I think we would have knew by now. Um, beside that, the other match is Seth Rollins uh, getting a shot against Roman, Re Roman Reigns. God dang it, Abu. Anyway, um, Roman Reigns defending his title against Seth Rollins. Um, I think I think I hope Seth Rollins wins, but I'm always helping the other guy wins against Roman Reigns because Roman Reigns horrible. Um, that's all I'm going to say. I think Roman's probably going to win, but if Seth does win, I I would I'd be floored. Um, but if Roman wins, maybe someone will cash in on him, and that would be amazing. Amazing. Maybe Kevin Owens will cash it on. Awesome. Um, the Money in the Bank. Uh, I'm kind of predicting. Like th this is what I think is going to happen. ADR is the only one that doesn't have any kind of um, hot factor around him. Everybody else is like red hot. Like they've got a lot of um, people like them. People like Dean Ambrose. People like Chris Jericho. Whether they're booing him or cheering him, they like Chris Jericho. Kevin Owens. People like him. People love to boo him. He's got a lot of, you know, you know, noise when he comes out. Sami Zayn, people love him. Um, Cesaro, people love him. ADR is the only one that's kind of there and doesn't really have anything going on. So as much as people don't want him to win, I think he is going to win. ADR, Alberto Del Rio, is going to walk out, I think, money in the bank. But if he doesn't, I think Kevin Owens will win. I don't see any reason for Cesaro to win yet. I don't think he should win the the. the the money in the bank, unless he's going to be the one that doesn't win the match. But that'd be stupid. Like, why would you do that? Um, he's not John Cena, and he's not going to put on a, you know, a freaking four or five star match with uh, Roman Reigns like he did with John Cena before. So it's not going to be, you know, good to do that. Um, besides that, I don't really, like, Kevin Owens is the only one that I see could possibly win it. Uh, Jericho could win it. That uh, would be a big surprise. And I think that if Jericho wins Money in the Bank, that just solidifies that he's staying around for a while. And that would be kind of cool if he won it because he's never won a Money in the Bank uh, match. And he's the one that created it. And it's been around for like 10 plus years. So it's kind of crazy he's never won one. I think that he's going to do it this time. Him or ADR is going to win it. Um, I don't think that they're ready to push Kevin Owens. And honestly, he doesn't need to get the Money in the Bank. Um, he's one of those guys that could just wrestle normally and get the get the shot because he's you know people are behind him and I think the company has behind him for the most part um, that he's going to be that guy that's going to eventually make it there. He's just you know they got to get there. Um, Rusev versus Titus is going to happen as well. I forgot about that. Um, I think Titus is going to win this because he needs something to get him over and get him back into the picture. Um, whether he did what he did and they took him off the TV for I don't know why he grabbed Vince McMahon's arm. Whatever reason he grabbed Vince McMahon's arm and they suspended him for, uh, you know, he's back now. And I think that Rusev may be still on bad terms with WWE for doing what he did. And, you know, I don't even understand why they, they're mad at him. But uh, I still think he, they may be, you know, he may be kind of on the bad list right now. So I think Titus will end up winning the belt. And getting it off Rusev, um, I don't know what their plans are for Rusev. I think they'll do something with Rusev this year, and I think he'll get get into the main event scene somewhat. Um, he'll probably face Roman Reigns or whoever the world champion is, and um, uh, yeah, get you know. I think he'll get pushed to the main event scene this year because I think they know he's worth it. But it, he's not. They don't want him to be world champion. I don't think. But he's a good a person to go against. You know, um, the the main guys. Um, but that's it. So let's talk about some other news that everybody's talking about Slammiversary. I didn't watch Slammiversary, first of all. I'm not paying $40 to see the pay-per-view because DNA hasn't proved their track record. And from what I hear, I was correct. Um, but 
the whole Matt Hardy, taking on Jeff Hardy thing, um, Brother Nero uh, thing that's going on. Um, Matt's crazy gimmick, crazy gimmick. I always like Matt Hardy. I like Jeff Hardy. I always thought Matt Hardy had a little bit more charisma than Jeff, uh, which some people may not agree with. But I do think Matt Hardy has what it takes. Um, but it's just, you know, putting him in the right storylines and booking him correctly is what was the problem. And I think TNA is doing a decent job. Uh, Bobby Lashley beating uh, Drew McIntyre. Nobody cares about the World Championship anymore in this company because they, they ruined it. The day they put that belt on Magnus was the day they killed the title, in my opinion, because Magnus was nothing at the time, and they put the belt on him. Even though he's heel, it doesn't matter. Like, if they gave the belt, um, I guess right now, like a significant person that I would talk about, that would kill the title in the WWE would probably be if Sin Cara won the world championship next week on Raw, it would probably kill the world championship. And if he held that belt for like two months, it would be stupid. It would be dumb because people would think it, it devalues the world championship because the guy hasn't won a match in forever. And if he does in a tag match, which what does that matter? He's not wrestling for the tag the titles anytime soon. Um, so it would devalue the championship. So yeah. Uh, Ring of Honor, I'm still working on the Ring of Honor. I, I need to watch those. I'm getting behind. I will be uploading more ROH TVs, and those will be uploaded on this channel. Uh, probably, and I'll probably kind of do a double upload thing for a while until I see if I'm getting views on this channel. If you guys enjoy, please make comments. Please thumbs up. Um, I did notice that I had natural subscribers on this, which my other channel, I kind of had dead subscribers on because um, there, you know, there's no comments coming through. And I did do it at one time. I was trying to get uh, subscribers in that way. Um, but it's not a good way. If you're going to get subscribers on YouTube, try to do it naturally. No, don't do the whole sub for sub thing because it, it's just dumb. I'll tell you right now. I've tried it. It's, it's stupid because you end up just subscribing to channels that, one, they're going to show up in your feed and they're really, really stupid. And, two, it, they're just not going to comment or anything. So what's the point of having them? So, you know, just keep on uploading videos and making good content. And, you know, the subs will come. If, if you're making good content and they find your channel, uh, your subs will come. That's what I just keep telling myself. And you know, like I said, I'm not up here. I'm up here to upload good videos and content. And if I, if two people watch, I'm happy. You know, I, I'm cool. As long as a couple people every once in a while say, "Hey, good video," I'm good. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, but along the way, if I get subscribers that comment on videos and everything like that, I'd be happy with that too. So I did notice there was some subscribers on here. Um, haven't checked the channels in a while, but I did check the channels a while back, and I am going to start putting videos on the channel again since. I did see that subscribers had been building without me noticing uh, because I was really just focusing on the Brad Tragic channel. So if anybody doesn't know, I do have a second channel called Brad Tragic. But like I said, this video will probably go up on both channels. So my other channel I'm talking about is Breakdown. It's just called Breakdown. It was purely going to be my wrestling channel, and then I just kind of gave up on it after a while um, for, st for stupid reasons. Um, so, yeah. That being said, I don't really know uh, anything else to talk about per se, about wrestling-wise. Um, yeah, drawing a blank. I saw The Resurrection of Jake the Snake Roberts last night. Very, very awesome documentary. If you haven't seen it, check it out on Netflix. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff you do to the other guys and gals. And do it to me, please. Anyway, and keep it rocking. Keep it rocking. Keep rocking. Yeah, there you go. Later, guys.